Did you say that? Heaven letter number 5471. November 16, 2015. There is trouble that seems to come to you that is, of course, just what you don't want. At the same time that you wouldn't predict difficulties for yourself, you also tend to invite them to yourself. You don't want it, yet you bring it to you. How do you bring it to you? With your sense of bad luck, as if you have no choice. You may have given up on yourself and offer yourself blindly as a sacrifice to a fate you do not want. Here is the sort of self-talk I hear you say. Such talk puts you down, and I ask you politely to leave off discouraging and defeating yourself with comments like this. When was the last time anything came easily to me? Why do I always get the short end of the stick? Why is life so hard for me? And so on. You make your own prognosis. It is not clear to you that this is what you are doing. You just don't see it. You see you are being forthright and honest. See now, by your words, you welcome difficulties to you. It's like you say, over here, trouble, come right here, I have been expecting you, over here. Beloveds, you do not hear yourself. Yet you anticipate difficulties and so you invite them in as you might an old friend. Yes, you have formed a bond with that which you don't want, yet you have such a familiarity that you keep beckoning to negativity, as if you wouldn't know how to get along without keeping the God forbids right near you. You might say, do you see how trouble finds its way to me? Trouble chooses me. Even my computer causes me trouble half the time. My dears. It is you who calculates trouble. You would never ask for trouble, yet that is exactly what you have done. You proclaim trouble. You call it to yourself with your refrain of, Poor me. I just can't seem to get away from difficulties. Difficulties seem to shadow me. They are on my trail. They make a beeline to me. They more than meet me halfway. I run away from difficulties, yet they pursue me. They seem to know how to find me. That's just my luck. And so you lay out your life as an offering to difficulties. Now change what you express. The words you speak and the thoughts you think make a difference to your life. If the words you say can bring you what you don't want, a better choice of words can certainly bring you what you do want. Seriously, change your point of view. The universe loves to send you what you refer to. The universe means to gratify you. From this time forward, use speech that will attract to you what you want. You may think this is too easy. You might say, this positive thinking may work for others, but it won't work for me. And, why pray tell, won't it work for you? Bear in mind that the innocent universe, seeks to give you, yes, you, what you talk about. Start thinking this way. The universe blesses me with its gifts. I am one of the luckiest people in the world. All I want comes easily to me. Whenever I express my desires, they come to me, often right away. Meantime, I am making inroads with good fortune. Beloveds, you absolutely have to change your self-talk. You may be so vacant of hope that you keep yourself glued to hopelessness, and so you get more hopelessness. If you can breed hopelessness, you can also breed hopefulness. It's not that you fight hopelessness. You don't have to knock it aside. What you have to do is to welcome that which brings you hopefulness. This works. Give it a chance. Give it a month's trial faithfully, and see what you feel. This is how it works. Pay attention. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org